In this video, I will be showing you how you can create a Zoom meeting survey. Now, this is important if you want to get feedback from your participant after the meeting is over. So what happens is once they are done with the meeting in Zoom, Zoom will automatically pop up a survey form and the participant can then fill up their feedback or any other related information that you want. Now, before I show you how this can be done in Zoom, if you are new to this channel, hi, this channel talks a lot about digital marketing. And if you're interested in topics in digital marketing, do subscribe to this channel and turn on notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. Now, without further ado, let me jump into the Zoom setting where I can show you how this can be set up. First of all, go to the Zoom website with your browser. You need to make some setting changes inside the account settings and this can only be accessed through the browser. And before I begin, you just need to take note that in order to use the survey meeting, the meeting survey in Zoom, you need to be a paid version. So if you're using the free, you won't be able to use this feature. All right. Now you need to log in first. I have already logged in. Let me just go to my account. Okay, now you are logged into your profile. Next, you go to settings. Then you see in meeting basic, click on it and you scroll down. So you see there is one survey here, feedback survey here, there's a meeting survey here. What's the difference between these two? The one that I'm going to show you is this meeting survey here. Now for this display end of meeting experience feedback survey option, when you click it on, once the participants has finished the meeting, there'll be an option that pop up in the Zoom. There'll be a thumbs up or a thumbs down. When the participant click thumbs up, then it shows that they are okay the meeting. If you click thumbs down, there'll be another comment session that pop out. So there's something good about this is that you don't have to worry so much, you don't have to think so much what to put inside your survey, but sometimes you want a custom survey questionnaire. And that is where we use only meeting survey. Because instead of having the thumbs up, thumbs down, when people exit the meeting, you'll pop up a website instead where people can fill up the survey. Okay, so we are not gonna turn this on. We are gonna turn this meeting survey on. So just turn it on. They say your setting has been updated. Now let's create a meeting. And I can show you how you can see this meeting survey, how you can edit it, how you can edit on. All right, now let's scroll all the way up. Okay, now you go to meetings. Next, you go to schedule a meeting. Yeah, let's just call it test meeting. Okay, for the survey to work, the registration can be required or non required. But the meeting ID, you do need to put it generate automatically so make sure to click on this generate automatically all right you can have a passcode now i am disabled the waiting room now i click save from here the meeting is created all right so you scroll all the way down you can see there's polls polls is polling that you can appear during the meeting now we are going to survey which happens after the meeting let's click on survey now you can see there's two different survey one is to create a new survey which is zoom own survey another one is use a third party survey let me just show you the third party survey first when you click on it they will come out a survey link below right where you can paste a survey link it could be google form or any other survey link that you want to use now one thing good about this is that you're using a separate survey software which means that it's more customizable and things like that. But the only issue is that when the meeting ends and the website pop up, sometimes they have an error where they need the participant to say yes to go to the website before they can open it up. Compared to when you have it in Zoom itself, automatically it just open, right? I can show you how it is later. So just cancel. Let me show you how to create a new survey. So let's go click on the create new survey. So there's a few questions, you see, there's single choice, multiple choice, rating skill, and long answer. Let's just say for this single choice, do you enjoy the meeting? So I just put like yes or no. Make this a compulsory required. Then you can add more questions. Um, usually we do rating skill. Do you find the content relevant? Then you can just put, for example, score one to five. All right, up to you exactly. Not relevant, extremely relevant. All right, you can put this as required. Then you just put add another question. Okay, so this, you can use this to collect email if you want to. Another way you can collect email is to put in the registration before they go into a meeting. It's totally up to you. 
So I just put this as long answer. So you can put required or not. I would suggest not to for emails because when people do survey, they don't leave their emails sometimes, all right? So another question is any other comments? And you can see you can edit, you can copy, you can even rearrange the question. All right, you can see, you can rearrange the questions. Okay, so it's simple as that. Now you just click save. So you can see include four questions. Then you can preview it. When you preview, it will look like this. So do you enjoy the meeting? Do you find it relevant? Please leave email, any other comment, etc. Just close this. Next, I'm going to test this with another of my Zoom account and see what happens once I leave the meeting. Okay, so first of all, copy the meeting ID, go to my Zoom account, click on join. Okay, now I'm in the meeting. All right, now I want to leave and then see whether the questionnaire will pop up or not. Okay, leave. There, the questionnaire pop up. So all is good. Then you just fill up accordingly. Do you enjoy meeting? Yes, relevant, extremely. No need, of course this is not, if it is required, they have a strict sign here, it's not required. So you just leave it there first, then you click submit. Then say thank you for completing our survey. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is where do you download the report on your survey. Okay, so now you're in the Zoom. All right, so now where do you get the report? So first you go to reports, go to the navigation bar here. You can see the word reports, click on it. You click on reports, go to usage report, click meetings, and then you click on survey report, search, and then you click generate. And once you generate, you can just download the report. It's as simple as that. All right, so this is how you can create a Zoom meeting survey. If you like what I share, do give me a like or a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, do hit the subscribe button. It will really help this channel out. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video and I see you in my next video. Goodbye.